Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you a self-regulation corner. And this is a little corner that you can create for children so that they can come and sit down um, whenever they are having an issue, whenever they're feeling sad, scared, angry, disappointed, anxious, tired, frustrated, whatever it is, they can come here and self-regulate um, by doing an action here in the little box that I have. Um, so this is for teachers and parents um, looking to create um, a little safe corner or a little uh, feel better corner for your children. Um, and this is going to give children the skills that they need um, to deal with their emotions and in turn um, behave better instead of focusing on negative consequences, on timeouts. Those just do not work. When children feel bad, when they are... Um, feeling very sad, they're acting out, they're angry. Those emotions are a way of the children communicating to us that there's something wrong and they need to have skills in order to deal with those emotions. Um, the emotional uh, system in children is very premature and this is something that they need to develop and understand about their emotions, how they feel and why they feel a certain way and how they can help themselves feel better. Um, that is the whole point of this self-regulation corner, so that children learn how to make themselves feel better on their own. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so let's talk about what you're going to need for your feel better corner. So you want to get a corner in your classroom or in your home that doesn't have a lot of traffic. Um, and then you want to make it really comfortable, maybe with a little rug, a little cushion, maybe some pillows. Um, you want to get a basket with some items inside that I'm going to show you in just a minute. Um, so let me show you what I have here. So here I have a poster about emotions and how uh, how do you feel. And it, and it shows a lot of the most common emotions. Um, happy, sad, scared, angry. You want to talk to children about these emotions and what it means to feel this way. How does it feel to the body? When the child is feeling a certain emotion, they are trying to communicate something to us adults that something is wrong and we need to acknowledge those emotions. It's very important to acknowledge the emotion that the child is feeling. Um, so then here we have the basket. So um, right here inside the basket, along with the emotion poster, I have these flashcards that talk about the different emotions. And um, this is a little set of flashcards that Define each of the emotions. What does it mean to feel this cer a certain way? Um, and it's really important to go over this when you're introducing your feel better corner. What does it mean to feel a certain way? Um, and this little set of flashcard comes with the poster and with the self-regulation board and you can get it in Teachers Pay Teachers and I'll link everything that you see in this basket um, along with this pack of uh, self-regulation principles below in the description box of the video. Okay, so let's talk about what's inside the little box here. Um, so the first thing when the kids are feeling bad, whatever they're feeling at that moment, they come to the corner and they get the self-regulation board. And this is a board that I created um, so that children can deal with their emotions on their own. Um, so they come to the corner and they choose, what do you feel? What do you feel? Do you feel disappointed? Do you feel sad? Do you feel tired? Do you feel angry? Maybe they feel frustrated. So let's pick frustrated here. The child feels frustrated for whatever reason. And then um, what do they want to do to help themselves feel better? And there's a lot of different tasks here that they can do. They can read a book. They can do some deep breathing. Um, and you want to show these things before you introduce the, the self-regulation corner. You want to introduce all of these concepts and how to use them. Um, the feel better lotion. I'll show you that in just a minute. They can draw a picture. Um, so let's say they choose to draw a picture. Um, they can use a stress ball. They can listen to music. I have a portable um, radio that I bring out if they choose to listen to music in which I play classical or instrumental music for them. I don't leave the radio out because they start playing with it. But if they choose this, I will bring it out for them. They can do some stretching. They can play with Play-Doh. I'll show you in just a minute. They can relax and just lie down. Um, they can wash their face. They can choose to talk to someone or they can write. So let's say that they chose to draw a picture in this instance. So then they come here in the little bin and they find the notebook. Let me see if I have the notebook that they've been using. Here it is. Here's the notebook. 
and this is a little notebook that my children have been using here for their self-regulation board and they can choose to draw different things here um sometimes they draw faces of when they're angry of when they're upset they can choose to draw animals whatever it is that they want to draw really so you will see a lot of faces a lot of angry faces because that's what they feel when they come to this corner as you can see here um, so it's good to have a little notebook that they can draw in and I usually have a little set of crayons and a little pencil and eraser in here so that they can use um, for this purpose here. Um, so let's go over the different things that are here inside of the box. So whatever they choose from, chose from their self-regulation board, you're going to find those items here in this box. Um, over here, I have little figurines, and these are from the Inside Out movie, and it's a good movie to show your children. It talks about emotions, um, and it's a great movie on teaching children about emotions. Here we have little figurines that all represent an emotion, like this one's anger. Um, let's say this one's sadness. This one's joy, and each one represents a different uh, emotion. So if they're feeling scared, they can come and look at the little scared figurine and maybe act the way they've acted out, the way they feel, and play with the little figurine. It's a good good way to help children deal, deal with emotions. Um, for the Feel Better Lotion, because I have this one here on the chart, uh, Feel Better Lotion, I have this um, this little lotion here is lavender and chamomile. It's called Night Night Balm. Um, and if, it, it smells really, really nice. Um, and children can choose to put it on their hands, on their neck, and it really does feel bad, make them feel better. I also have these little things that they can use to just um, play with with their hands and just let out those emotions that they're feeling, whether it's anger, whether it's disappointment. Um, I can't do it with two hands because I'm recording the video, but these are great. And I'll link these below in the description box so that you can see them. Okay, so here we have a little stress ball. And stress balls are great for letting go of stress and uh, makes children feel better when they when they start uh, pressing and squishing this little ball. And they can choose that here on the, on the chart if they can choose the stress ball. And there's a lot of different stress balls that you can buy and I'll link this one below in the description box if you want to see this one. Um, here I have some Play-Doh. Um, so the children can choose to do Play-Doh. I have a little folder here with some Play-Doh um, that they can do. Um, and so they can choose to... Um, they can choose to uh, make a face here for the little kitten um, or for the pig and, and show emotion or for the little girl or little boy. They can choose to decorate a cake. They can choose to make the snowman. And I just switch these out from time to time. And I post this in the description box because these are free on my blog and so that you guys can print them out. And then I have just two Play-Doh containers. I don't want to have a lot of Play-Doh because this is not a Play-Doh center here. This is just to, to help children deal with their emotions. Um, so here I have different books in this little bin as well. So I have When I Feel Sad book and it talks about feeling sad. And this one's by um, Cornelia Spellman. Um, and this is a great one. I love this series and it has, it talks about a little story on when a child feels sad and what you can do um, when you feel sad. And so I have different ones. I have when I feel sad, when I feel angry. I have different things that, that children deal with on a daily basis, whether I have your voices or not for yelling. Um, I have talk it, talk and work it out. And I love this series. Um, because it gives you exercises and includes activities and is and a guide for adults to to work on different on different things. Words are not for hurting. Ages four to seven. I have share and take turns. I have different books that deal with different things. Hands are not for hitting. And I have here some stickers that children can choose to to put on their notebooks when they are making a drawing. Um, I also have a. Um, a CD here so I can have some classical or instrumental music. I bring out the radio whenever the radio is needed. I don't leave the radio out because sometimes the kids start playing with the radio. But if they do choose the radio here, I will bring it out um, and so that they can listen to some music here while, list while lying down relaxing. Um, so as you can see, I have different things in this little Feel Better bin and along with the self-regulation board. And again, this self-regulation board you guys can get on Teachers Pay Teachers. It comes with the um, the poster, it comes with the board here, and it comes with the flashcards so that you can create your own Feel Better Corner. Um, and I think this is a great way to help children self-regulate. So I absolutely love this self-regulation corner. My kids have been using it for two years now, and I cannot tell you how 
great it is in our home because the children, whenever they have a problem, whenever they have an issue with themselves, whenever they feel sad, angry, um, disappointed, they come here and they sit down and they pick an activity to do to feel better. They bring me this board all the time and show me how they're feeling. Um, and it's a great alternative to punishment, to time out. Um, also in the classrooms, they use the red light classroom management um, system. Um, they use it all across America. And I really don't like that system. Um, and I don't like it. And let me explain a little bit of what it is. So if you guys have never heard of it, the red light classroom management plan, it's basically like every day a child begins their day with a, um, on green light. And then certain behaviors change them to yellow or red light. And so the red and yet um, the yellow and red lights have consequences like they may have loss of recess or maybe they take a note home. And so I don't like it because I think this, this serves to to lower the child's confidence and, and self-esteem. It really doesn't um, help children um, build skills to deal with their emotions, to deal with their issues on their own. Um, and so that's why I like this self-regulation corner, this feel better corner, because it really uh, delves into emotion and how to deal with emotion, how to make yourself feel better, how to manage your own emotions. That is very important, even for adults. I think there are adults out there who still cannot manage their own emotions. And it's really important to learn about emotions, to learn how to self-manage them. Um, and I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I'll post a link on the description box right below the video on all of these resources and where you can get them. Let me know what you guys think about the self-regulation corner. Um, what have you used in your classrooms to help with behavior management? What has worked, what hasn't worked, even in your homes? Let me know what you guys think. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, for more videos on education, on children, homemaking, homeschooling, simple living, um, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.